this character originally as, as, a, as a show and as a book, but what was I like when I was, at, you know, at that age? And I certainly was getting into trouble because of my imagination. I was, you know, when I was uh, in first grade, I, I, and I've kind of worked this into a future book, I convinced my teacher that I was this, like, world-class trained tap dancer, and that I would <laughs> put on this performance for the school, and I really, like, sold this whole thing. And they had made all these plans to, like, sh- I mean, I was this little, tiny, you know, private school, and it was like, this was going to be this really big deal. They thought they had this superstar, you know. And, uh, and then my parents got away, and they're like, what are you talking about? Like, he can't even, you know, he, he can't dance at all. So yeah, that was you know, sort of, you know, the kind of kid I was. You know, I, I would wear my Superman, but pajamas underneath my uniform because in case trouble happened to arise, I wanted to be ready. I mean, that was the kid I was. And now I have been blessed with two children that are exactly like that. <laughs> it's been interesting. And my mom just smiles away. And, you know, it's like I you know, always said, you know, you get, you know, what you give. So, so yeah, so Frankie's <coughs> I'm taking it you have no shortage of, store of material that yeah, Frankie's uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should also add that Eric's volunteered to put on a tap dance. <laughs> 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 you get to wear the mascot uniform that I saw on the back there. Yeah. That's kind of, yeah. I'd like to see that. That's right. I'd like to see tap dance. And like I said in my story, I don't know how to tap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Why tap dance? <laughs> Why did you pick tap dance? My grandfather was a, an incredible dancer and singer, and he would just... And not that he was trained or anything, but he was just always singing and tap dancing in the kitchen, and we would dance on his feet, and that's where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of sweet, though. That you, I mean, that is yeah, that's really that's sweet. Yeah, especially sweet. I did, yeah. <laughs> 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 he, he would, uh, when my grandfather was a little older, when I was little, he was already retired, So and, and my mom, you know, my parents were divorced, and my, my spent a lot of time my grandfather, so he would, you know, uh, he would totally facilitate all of my crazy harebrained schemes, so... Um, out of whatever scraps in the house, he would he made me a top hat out of like cardboard, and uh, you know I remember I think we still have it somewhere. It smells awfully mildewy, but it's it's we still have it, um, and that's sort of uh, yeah that's sort of where a lot came from. Right there. That's great. I got a lot of trouble when I convinced him to make me a guillotine because we were you know, <laughs> that, and I wanted to try to like you know use it with all my action figures. <laughs> that did not go over well. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of, you probably kind of answered this a little bit when you said that you um, thought you'd write the book and then just do, but um, when you're working on a, a graphic novel, is the whole story planned out and then you start drawing, or do you draw a little bit, like, I know some authors will actually, the characters kind of take over, and, and they kind of know it's a story, but then the characters talk to them as they work through. Is that the same way for a graphic novel, or do you, like, work from an outline? A lot of people do it different ways, and I've heard from people who are primarily illustrators writing their book that they'll just start in drawing their pages and just start working the story that way. But I've also heard that those same people will get like 150 pages in and realize it's not going to work. And then they have to throw out like 75 pages of, of work. And, you know, it takes a lot of time. The drawing takes a lot of time. So I didn't want to do that. So uh, I, like Eric, I, I had a background. I went to film school instead of art school, and I got screenwriting when I got out of school. I also <laughs> <laughs> had that Hollywood experience too, but I, the writing of a script came very naturally to me, that format, and that adapts pretty well to graphic novels. Mm. So I had the whole story in my head, and what I did was write down, I described every panel in the book, <coughs> and then had the dialogue and stuff like that. So it's funny, I hear a lot of reviews saying this is a really <coughs> wordless book and stuff like that. Jeez, I remember writing like 200 <laughs> pages of work. Um, but I described it all, and, after I, and then sent that to my editor. So we had something to work on that didn't involve me drawing yet, because it was it's so much work. And after that was sort of approved, I drew a very small version of the book, little tiny drawing. It started out this big, then I did three inch big, big pictures. But it looks like the, the real book. Uh, just really small, and I sent that to the art director and editor so we could go over and see how the pages were working and get a real idea of how it flowed and make changes to those because they I did those in like, like a minute to do a page. Um, and then when everything was set, then I started drawing the finals because once I got into that, and I could change a little thing to, if, like on the go, I found that doesn't work. I can make it one panel. I was always trying to make it less. I'd written as three panels, but realized I could do it in two or one. That's what I did. Um, but I knew how the book would flow. And that way, would, the other good thing about that is I could shoot it out of sequence, like they say in movies. Uh, since I knew how the pages were going to fall in the final book, I could spend a week 
drawing all the scenes that take place in the, um, the uh, general store. You know, I, in fact, and I put that last because it's, a, it's like a, I think nine months maybe to draw it. And I set it up so by the end of it, um, I had this kind of nice, easy set of scenes to do that weren't very intense because I figured I might, might be kind of burned out. And some of the real intense stuff I kind of put in the middle of my schedule. So I was ready. I was not just starting, but just enough that I could get the hang of it. Uh, so that was very helpful about having it planned out that way. And I read the book on Friday.